Hey, we ain't even to the Bahamas yet, and you already got your mahi mahi on. Come up front, let's go see him. That's not even the fish that just swam by. Y'all check out this huge weed patch 40 miles from shore. And look at this beautiful dolphin she's got on right here. I mean a good one. You just woke up from a nap. <laughs> What's up everybody? Blue Gabe, Crystal and I are headed to the Bahamas. But right now I gotta get a gaff and gaff her fish. It's a big old female. Bring her right over here. Babe, Hi. seriously, how do you wake up from a nap and just <laughs> right into this? Just like that. <laughs> That's a good one. So I was going to wait to do my intro when we got to the Bahamas, but how do you pass up a beautiful weed patch like this? The crazy thing is, though, is there was only one dolphin. We saw another one swim by, but I don't know where he went. There's a little bit off of this big patch, but not much, so he should be right here. There's plenty of trash in it, though. Plastic everywhere. And there's tons of little fish, bar jacks and file fish and stuff, but I don't know where that other dolphin went. We just came through storms coming from home that way that were nasty. But fortunately, I think now we're clear sailings all the way to the Bahamas. West End's 30 miles that way, and home is about 65 miles that way. Were you sound asleep? I was sound asleep. Like out? Like zonk. And that was a good way to wake up because that's actually what I was dreaming about. That's a good thing. <laughs> I knew when I saw it, I'm like, you can't drive past this. About 15 miles that way, we did drive by some big patches like this, but we were right in the middle of those storms and I knew I had to get out of them before I stopped. So we're actually going to pull up. We used a whole pack of Ballyhoo to catch that one because we were chumming. So now we're sort of low on bait that I have thawed out. So we're going to head to the Bahamas. If you guys are looking at these bean bags and interested in getting one, Ocean Tamer bean bags. These things are legit. How long do you think it's going to take you to go back to sleep? Uh, 1.5 minutes. <laughs> it can be extremely rough, and if you're sitting in that thing, you're comfortable. So I just got to get turned around facing that away, and we got 34 miles to go. Show them how comfortable it is. Flop down, bae. You can either. Back. Yeah, you can. Like lean it back. Up straight. I like to do like this approach. Like lay back like this. You want to put your rain jacket back on or are you good? I probably need it, huh? Well, if you drive it, I won't get wet. You wish you were on one of them sailboats going three miles an hour that just went past us? You no, know I don't like to go slow. <laughs> Alright, let's rip. there and do your we made it to the Bahamas dance come on let's see it <laughs> that girl's excited y'all we've been waiting for this trip for what five months now yeah. you tricked me. she thought we were still way offshore so that was actually an interesting crossing. Most of the time, it'll either be bad on one side or the other or all the way. This time it was only bad in the middle. Smooth, calm for the first 10 miles, pretty nasty for about 25 miles, and then flat, calm the rest of the way. I'll take it. Wasn't that bad, this contender eats it up. We were running, I think, 36 miles an hour the whole way. There's Mad Max! So I gotta give a huge shout out to Palm City Yachts and Stewart too. They take such good care of my motors. They literally keep me running all the time. If I need something, I can call them and it's immediate. 
Palm City Yachts and Stewart. Check them out. They are the real deal. We just pulled into West End and look at the boat we're about to see. If you watch Whistling Diesel on YouTube, which he's one of the biggest, you've seen this boat. And if you follow along with me, you've seen it as well because I've done a video on it. One of the biggest center consoles ever made. Babe, have you ever seen a center console that big? No, I think it's huge. It's like a yacht. I'm frying everybody right now though. Y'all just came all this way to see us in? We did, no. Just came to see who was never been out on this side of the island. <laughs> that was weird timing. That was a lot of <laughs> Look at this boat, folks. That thing is monstrous. That boat, that boat is ridiculous. You don't know how big it is until you're outside of it looking in on it. The Mad Max. One of Whistling Diesel's biggest videos, he put his huge Mad Max, uh, or not Mad Max, his whatever his monster truck, he put it in the water and drove it out like Sanibel or somewhere and RG towed him back. Pretty crazy. That boat's got like 2,400 horsepower. How long is that thing? Oh, I think 46 foot. Jesus. Those motors are like 650 horsepower each. So yeah, right at 2,400, 2,500 horsepower. So we gotta go in here, clear customs. I'm sure y'all have seen that before. If you don't know what that is, anytime you travel from your country to another, you gotta go in and clear customs and immigration. Hopey pass. Do you got your green card? <laughs> no. So if you're wondering where we just came from, this green stuff is, um, Sirius XM satellite radio. If you have a GPS, it's super cool. I know where the storms are no matter what. We just came from right here and we literally zigzagged all the way through those storms all the way in. And it was definitely a beautiful crossing. She slept on the beanbag. Now she's well rested. A ton of people here getting gas and clearing. So probably be about 45 minutes and we're gonna head down to get some conch or hogfish or something. All right, completely cleared. We had us some cracked conch and some conch salad and we're ready to go. Headed about three miles, that's it, to go deep dropping. But first I want to show you, give it gas! I want to see the motors go, come on! That thing is huge! Huh? That joker is giant! Catch your first deep drop fish. Nope. Gonna go have some luck. Judging off of what we just saw in there, we should. The current's a lot harder than it normally is here in the Bahamas, so we're gonna have to go up a little bit farther ahead. We've got a seven pound weight, a Ivan deep drop rig, and just a little light made by DankoPliers.com. Got my LP reel. Babe, as I like to say, we're cocked, locked, and ready to rock. Do you like me or the LP? Um, it depends on the situation. <laughs> the long pause says it all. Now Crystal has yet to use the LP, so we're about to teach her how to do it. Grab your weight, drop it in. Right now? Yep. We're in 1,200 and, no, 1,380 foot of water, so it's gonna take a while for it to get there. Fire it down. Take this lever like this. Now that's the alarm. You can turn it on or off, it doesn't matter. And this isn't feet, so it's not going to match up with the GPS is saying. Got a long ways down, babe. High five. Big hopes. Big dreams. I've said it like five times in this video. That thing is a beast. It just sounds mean. So anytime it starts getting close to the depth that we're in, I just lay my finger there. You know how when you throw a bait caster? That's all I'm doing. Just so when it stops, it doesn't backlash. This is a giant bait caster. You got that right. We're drifting at a solid 1.4 miles an hour, which is pretty fast for water this deep. Now the problem with this rod, this is like my favorite rod ever. It's made by the Fisherman Center in 
uh, West Palm Beach, Florida, but it's stiff. It's like a sword fishing rod. It's good for this too, but the bite's just gonna be like a little. How many feet of line do you think you have on here? Oh, I have a lot, like a mile and a half. So I guess each revolution is actually way smaller than a foot because we're at 1580 on that and 1360 on the GPS. When it hits bottom, we push this up. Up to the second line right there, it's on bottom. Put it on the second line, right there. Now bump the red on the left, just a little bit. Bump it? Bump it. Keep going, hit it hard. Now let it down again. This? Yeah. All right, push it up a second. Now watch that rod tip. Right there, hit the red, hit the red, hit the red, hit the red. That one. Look at that. Now hit both reds at the same time. What does that do? Walk away. Oh, it's such a... High five, another high five. We got a fish. We got a fish. Crystal Beachy said we got a fish. Did we get one? Long ways up though, babe. You don't see that rod digging? I think we got more than one. Maybe. Ooh, what is that? You just caught your first queen snapper. Really? Yeah. Bring it over here. And a big one at that. Nice. Oh, the weight. Beachy's on the board Yay. with a queen snapper. Awesome. Three high fives. That's awesome. First drop. Ever. Ever. And how long did that take? 10, 15 seconds. Like, not even that. You guys, see more maps. Look in the link in the description below. Sorry. See more maps is why we were able to catch up. The last trip I was here, I had the chip in. I don't have it in now, but I will put it gosh. in soon. And I found this spot. Oh my gosh, we match. That's a beautiful color, huh? Let's drop again. We got one, and it's a shark. Baby <laughs> shark, dee 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 dee. You got a shark. Oh, I actually have a heck? really, I have a really cool thumbnail for that shark. Oh, he's weird looking. What do you want me to do? Grab the leader right there in front of him. There you go. Oh, he's got weird eyes. I have a picture of that shark that would be perfect for a thumbnail. Oh my gosh. You want to eat him? No. Yes. Oh, it kind of reminds me of a snake. He's creeping me out. Look at his eyes. He's making you freaked out? Feel him. No, just stick your finger in his mouth. You do it. Nope. He feels like sandpaper. That's your first ever shark, and I don't know what kind it is. Feeling. He looks like he's pregnant. Well, don't squirt him out. That was water in his belly. Babe, feel him. It's like sandpaper. Mm-hmm. And his fins are sharp. All right, turn him loose. You can't see a shark that small and not Should think I of that him? song. Yeah. <laughs> All right, see you later, dude. Two sharks oh for the price of one. We got to get away from these sharks. Oh no. New species? Oh yeah, those are good eating too. Oh, it's little. Honestly, that's probably better eating than a queen. That little thing? Yeah, look at his eyeballs. He looks like the fish on Bad Boys too. Bless his heart. Baby, he's, he he's not a, seeing 2020 anymore. He had a long way up. So right here where we're at, we just cleared customs like you already know, right there in West End. The coolest part is our hotels right there. Two miles from West End, two miles from the hotel. It's gorgeous out here, slick calm. You couldn't get a better day than today, especially for Chris and I's first crossing together. This week we're gonna go spear fishing and I want her to get her first lion fish, her first real big hog fish. I'd like to try to find some big mahis, maybe some snowy grouper or Seven band grouper, I think they're called. I can't remember. We're doing a pile of stuff this entire week. We're not going to go anywhere twice. We're going to do something new every day.
You know what's crazy about this, babe? What? Is I stopped the boat. <gasps> you got a queen! Listen, I stopped the boat. Holy moly! I stopped the boat and was gonna go in reverse and drag us to the other spot. And just caught one. Nice! That's a good one. That's a Gosh, big old, that's a beautiful That's a big fish. old biggin. Good job, babe. <laughs> He's like short and fat. That is he awesome. got little legs. <laughs> what? Am I short and fat? <laughs> no, but go ahead and drop yours down. She slowed her reel down, so I had time to drop. Babe, them shorts are looking, or as you would say, those britches are looking good. Thank you. You and that reel, that's a, and this boat's a pretty good looking combination. You happy? Yeah. So one thing I didn't talk about in my last video is the difference between reels. This is a Daiwa Seaborg, I think they call it. It's like $1,250 reel, I think, with a $300 rod, $150 butt. So if you're looking to get into this, this is definitely an expensive rod, but it's more affordable than the one I'm about to show you. The line can be crazy expensive too. This is about $300 worth of braid. I think it's 60 pound and $300 worth of it to fill it up versus this LP is about $8,500 and the line's about $500. Slow it down, you got the biggest queen you've ever seen. Oh my gosh, get it in the boat. You got to pull it, babe. Baby's gonna get away. I don't know what to do. I'm new, I don't know what to do. Ah, babe, help me! <laughs> Pick up on the reel a little bit. Right there, that's a, that's a gargantuan. I told you. Oh my. Oh, he God. just came off. No, he didn't. <laughs> oh my gosh, I can't even lift him. Oh my gosh. I told you, that's a big one. Let me go back here and check my reel while you unhook him. So that's the. Uh, oh, I hit the bottom. See, I don't like how I'm sitting right now, so I need to, the current's coming under the boat. I'm gonna use just my one motor to swing it around to the side. Uh-oh. Uh oh. So you can see how I just swung the boat around. I really want that line off the side of the boat, not under the boat. Did you get him off yet, babe? Yeah, I got him. Bring him back here and let's see him. Yeah, he's a big old big one. Uh oh, uh oh. Just like that, folks at home. I love that color. That's pretty. Let me spin around so we can get the light right. That's what we can't, look at my rod, babe. Bent. Bent. That joker is bent. We're not going to just show y'all deep dropping. Don't worry. We're going to show you all kinds of awesome stuff of this trip. You'd be here for a month of Sundays if you had to hand crank this whole thing. Babe, come here. Yeah, come here. I got a twofer. Nice! <laughs> Good job! Dang, what a load! You're gonna have Golly. to help me pull him in though. We're getting oh my goodness! Big old biggin'. Nice, that's a cold. Babe, blend. you're rod, you're rod, babe, you're rod, you're rod, you're rod. We're in the meat, babe. You got you a twofer also. No! He came off! He came off! Oh he lord. Came off. He came off. Oh lord. Get him, babe. Get him. You get gotta him. get the gaff. Where 
is it? Right here. Where? Right here. Right here. <laughs> Get it get him in the head. Oh, nice man. save. That was not cool. I got another Yeah, <laughs> she said that was not cool. Hey, does it get any prettier than that? It's gorgeous. You know what the only thing prettier than that is? You. <laughs> you see that guys, I can't even give her a compliment without her looking at me and laughing, thinking I'm joking. Just pulling into Boodle Bay, one of my favorite places in the Bahamas. Low key, local, awesome people. And they're gonna be super stoked that we have a whole entire ice box full of fish for them. They know what to do with it for sure. <laughs> Look at that, babe. Same boat as ours. Nice. That actually looks like a 27. No, that's a 31. Same boat as ours, ours is just black. Skeeters getting you or what? Yeah, they're horrible. That is one thing about the Bahamas, you guys. The bugs can get bad, but if you can deal with the bugs, the rest is absolutely beautiful. One thing I'm seeing right now is all the live bait. Tomorrow morning, I will be up early catching me a well of those. Because the moon in June is when the big muttons and black grouper spawn. I can't believe there's nobody here. That weather scared everybody away, I guess. That's good. That is good. Look, there's Boss Man right there. This is the Boodle Bay Lodge. So nice. They got a nice little pool. It's just homey. That's why I like it. What's up, Boss Man? I got the goods. Are fish going in here? Yep. Ready? Hey, we did some work out there. Short amount of time. You know what to do with these fish, Mr. Ida? Yeah, man. You guys can get them. Well, for you letting us come and stay, they're all yours, and we got a pile of them. Right there at the end, we had sharks eat both rigs off, though. Wow. We got a bunch. What's for dinner tonight? Queen. Queen? <laughs> I better get up here and help her get some fish. These... These right here taste so much better than Queen, though. Queen can't touch these smaller silkies. Here comes BG's favorite. I'm ready for a grilled that's piece a of dolphin. Wow, that's a dolphin. All right. and, it's the only uh, one, but and a silky snapper. That ain't bad for half a day. Heck, not even. We just what? got here. Two hours. Two hours. Yeah. <laughs> nice. You ready to eat dinner? I'm hungry. We got like probably eight queens. Yeah. Queen snapper. What do you get the little snappers are? Squid. Way deep. They were in 1,400 foot of water. Wow. We got one dolphin. We caught him coming over. Time to go shower and eat dinner. You guys, the reason we're here, and I think I said it earlier, you see that full moon? The full moon in June is when the big black grouper and mutton snapper spawn. Look at that awesome pool. Show you our room. Little one bedroom suite. It's got all kinds of different size rooms. Babe, what do you she think? about yoked me. Good. I love it. Got an awesome little kitchen, refrigerator, stove, sink. Babe, it even came with these snacks and desserts? No, unfortunately, we brought ours. There's her tomatoes. You, you got, she'll eat that tomato in one sitting. You got an awesome little flat screen, couch, a safe. Look at this beautiful bathroom. Nice shower, clean, everything spotless. Bedroom, and this place is legit. Boodle Bay, it's in West End, Grand Bahama. I'll have all their information in the link below. Trust me, this place is beautiful. Just wait till we get to dinner though. The chef here, which is Ida's wife, woo, she's a good cook. Here comes the goods. Come another ride. I don't see no, we're all in five. We're the second shot by That's a dolphin we caught. Gotta stop and look for fish on it. Which one you want to Thank try first? Thank you so much. No, we were too shallow. We, you were like, you were like, this one's already over there. Doesn't that look good? It looks so good. 
we were we were getting real shallow. You guys, the red sauce here in yeah, the Bahamas. We, we Seven. I didn't see it off the too, charts. Too, like, we saw a big old piece of wood to the bottom. Like, well, so normally with that, I mean, you're, you're that's the like, bomb diggity. Like, funnel shit to the front. Normally. Yeah, yeah. Um, you guys, we never get date nights on our own. So tonight, y'all ain't eating with us. We'll see you in the morning. <laughs> so as life typically does, we've been thrown a curveball this morning. Look at the weather. Absolutely disgusting. So instead of sitting in here whining about it, we're going to jump in a taxi and go exploring, which I don't know where the taxi is. I, I was looking for you. It is wet to say the least. There you are. You see how impatient women are? <laughs> Bumpy. Yes, sir. You from the Bahamas? Yes, sir. Born right and raised? Born and raised. Yes, Where at? Right now, West Guantanamo. Dang. Yeah. You ever been to La Caya? Yeah, I went to La Caya several times. Now listen, <laughs> you can't be driving on the wrong side of the road with us in the car. No, no. We're on the wrong side of the road already, Bumpy. <laughs> Bumpy, we said not the wrong yeah, side of the road. The Bahamas. <laughs> <laughs> It's the side we drive on. Oh, that's weird. Yeah, you died. To oh, I think I would be good. I think I would be good driving until we came to a turn, and then I would be done dealing. <laughs> Royal Poinciana, that's my favorite tree right there. Down in the Keys or in the Bahamas, you know it's spearfishing time when those things are blooming. So we just got to the Grand Bahama Yacht Club. I'm setting up the grill to cook these steaks, and I hear Crystal yelling. I don't know where she is. She's just screaming, giant tarpon. Look, he's right there. Oh, he's under there. I can't, I can't see. He'll come out in a minute. He's just swimming really slow. That is a big one. You ready to go fishing? Yeah. No, the rain finally stopped. Yeah, but now that the rain stopped, the wind's blowing. So by water, our hotel's a lot closer. By land, it was like 30 miles. By boat, it's only like 20. That's Port Lakaya right over there. And this place used to be booming with casinos, thousands of people, and now it's just pretty much dead. It's horrible to see. Jump on him and see if you can bulldog him. <laughs> He's so big. You know what I want right now? An elk steak. I am starving. So we have an extreme plan B, pancakes. This is not what we're eating. <laughs> now what we're eating. I just opened the elk meat, which was sent to me by the distributor that I got it processed in, in Colorado. And it, nope, it smells bad. It's been on ice the entire time. Since I've had that meat with me, it's been frozen. But when I just opened it, it smells terrible. We are not eating elk. Is that not one of the best pancakes you've ever had in your life? That's a good pancake. Have you been holding out on me or what? No, no. That thing is phenomenal. It's crispy. He won't even tell me, he, he won't even give me a tip of what he did. Maybe, we'll see. Not on camera though. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so once again, we have a change of plans. Now, RG and his wife, Lisa, are flying home in their helicopter because the weather window is very small. We have to take them to the airport and drop them off, and then we got to continue on back to our hotel, Boodle Bay. But I have to not only drive on the wrong side of the road, but I'm driving in the wrong side of the car. This is really smart. Like in airplanes, you know, they got those. We should have these in American cars. I'm telling you. I don't That's think smart. I could fit in the seat where you're at, though. This would be good for children, too. So you saw how it was when we woke up this morning? Now it is drop dead gorgeous. So we got to drive 45 miles back to Boodle Bay, get on the boat, and drive 45 miles to the north in search of big black groupers. I cannot wait. We've been thinking about this for five months, but I've been thinking about it for like five years. That's how long it's been since I've been to this rock. Hold on. Sit down, shut up, and hold on. <laughs> when did we get to go in a Lambo is what I want to know. So if you guys lean Never forward, you, lean forward, listen. you guys look this up. 316 speed, the baddest race cars ever. And if you watch Whistling Diesel, like I said earlier in the video, his Dukes of Hazard car, RG and his team actually built that for him. This is gonna be so bad. So we just dropped him off here at the airport and look, look, <laughs> this might seem like 
easier than it is, but just driving in the back seat on the way here, I thought we were gonna die like four times because people were coming at us. So Your brain automatically thinks, holy crap, they're on the wrong side. Like right now, you have to get on the other side. Oh, yep. <laughs> so we're gonna pull over here and see if we can't see the helicopter. And hopefully this pothole's not bad. Oh. No. Oh, it's over there in the back. Let's see if I can. Dang, there's a jet in front of it. Yep, can't see it. It's just right over there. Anyhow, we've all seen helicopters before. One day we'll own one, but it ain't gonna be today. I gotta put in my maps how to get to this place. I, my only fear is pulling out in front of somebody. Turn left only. Okay. We're in a rush now, folks at home. We're in a rush. The weather's clear and we can go fish. I wish it was still like this in America. Here in the Bahamas, they'll pump your gas for you so you don't even have to get out. Yeah. You watch YouTube? Yeah, man, I watch YouTube. You're about to be on it right now. Yeah, man. You ever yeah. seen Blue Game? Hey. We're a fishing channel. Blue Game. So we're going to get like $35 worth. I thought you did it in liters forever. You changed it from liters to gallons? Yeah, to gallons. See, so $5.80 a gallon. $5.80 a gallon. Yeah. That's two dollars and twenty cents a gallon more than where we live but you got to remember you're in the bahamas they got to get it all the way over here so it is what it is so if you've ever been curious on what the islands of the bahamas is like besides what you see around the water it's just normal they have salvage yards dealerships rental cars we're in the lot more like industrial side of the bahamas not the tourist side that's like wide world travel I mean there's pretty much anything you can imagine here's a they rent cherry pickers and cranes the hurricane came through here two or three years ago and wreaked havoc on this place and it's slowly coming back and that's a lot of what happened to Lakaya with the casinos and all that everything just got wrecked and unfortunately they don't have the money that the US has to build back so fast but this is it look right here what this big building is There's a heavy equipment rental place. They got caterpillars and bobcats. I've drove with some crazy Bahamian drivers before, but the ride here with RG was scarier. He drives like a maniac. As Luke would say, a maniac. See Babe, that? we're on the wrong side of the road again and there's uh, a car coming. Sorry. Sorry, Americans. <laughs> sorry, people. Give me your honest opinion on the ride here. I don't get scared. Like, very often at all. Like, I'm not brave. I wouldn't say I'm very brave, but I don't get freaked out, like, in stressful situations. But that was very stressful. But did you die? We did not die, but we haven't made it there quite yet. It, Gabe's it's, just it's like... The, it's the turns this, that get me. Yeah, the turns, and you have to... You can't just set it on autopilot mode when you're driving here. Like, you have to think about it. Because he turned at a stop sign, and we're on the American side of the road. And I look up, and there's three cars coming right at us. I'm just steadily dangerous. And he's just like, doo-doo-doo. And I'm like, babe, babe, we're on the wrong side of the road. And he, like, just freaks out. And we end up on the side of the road because he couldn't figure out which one well, the right side of the road was. You know what I can figure out? Is how to go up there and crank this contender up and head offshore. Let's go. You guys, that's it for this video. We're going to start a new one as soon as we get on the boat. We're going after different species, different opportunities. Thanks for watching this one, though. Most importantly, thanks for all the positive comments. Like Jake always says, though. It's time to get up out of here and get the heck out of shape. See y'all.